Good morning, precious ones. When we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, old things passed away and all things became new. Jesus is God's Word in human form, and when we invited Him into our lives, He came to live inside of us. As we begin our new life in and through Him, we begin to change from the inside out. The more we abide in Jesus, the more we realize that we are justified and perfected through Him. The Lord Jesus brings positive change into our lives. He reveals wonderful things previously unknown to us and represents us to God. When we become engrafted in Him, Our previous spiritual condition is gone. This happens when we are born again. Then, God makes known to us the riches of His glory, which is Christ in us. This is what Colossians 1.27 says. We have the right to expect manifestations of the Lord Jesus in us. Jesus is our High Priest who has passed into heaven. We must profess this and hold fast to it. Our profession, specifically how we make a living, is our confession of faith in Him. Our faith is strengthened every time we confess Him. Family, the Father has delivered us from evil. The blood of Jesus has given the gifts of redemption and forgiveness. This is what Colossians 1, 13 through 14 says. These gifts were made possible through the Lord Jesus Christ. In Him, we do not have to work for them because we already have them, according to Ephesians 1.7. We are declared righteous by faith, not by works. Romans 4.1-9 Faith justifies the ungodly and makes us righteous. Abraham was acquitted of his guilt by his belief in what God said. God credits righteousness to us apart from our works. He blesses those who believe, and He does not impute sin to us. We are happy and to be envied. The Lord Jesus Christ has already redeemed us from the curse of the law. He took our curse upon Himself when He was crucified, according to the word in Galatians 3.13. Jesus bore our sins in His body. He healed us by his stripes. 1 Peter 2.24 Take time to abide in God's word, and you will be strengthened, refreshed, and restored. Well, God bless you guys. If you were encouraged today and would like to donate to our ministry, simply go on to gordonministries.org and click donate. I love you and am praying for you today.